This episode, we gotta remove the Lonely Kings, what the title says. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu, episode 24. We are at a deuce, we are at an amazing game, amazing show, amazing things. I don't want to say anything else, I really don't. I really just want to jump into this if I'm completely honest with you. So remember guys, if you guys want full full length of this show and early access, if you don't want to wait when this is done, you want to go see season two, check out that Patreon down below. Really appreciate it. If you guys still want to support but can't or Patreon's not really your thing, you guys can just click that like bell, leave a like, and then, you know, uh, put a nice comment down below. It helps push me out into the algorithm. It really does. Trust me. It really does. Well, let's hop into this. Don't forget, if you guys ever want to ask me any questions, check out that Discord down below. Let's hop into this. IQ episode 24. Oh god, we're gonna have a whole episode about this. Who's gonna get two point lead? Yeah. Mmm. Not as a good throwback. I do specifically remember. I didn't know Kunimi was even from his old school too. Kunimi just didn't wasn't even running i remember that so that's crazy and now he's bah, you know why do they always have to play dope music like stop it iq i want to put this on youtube uh, oh fuck watery bro he's so nasty one more ah, watery stop it bro look at him he not just insane bro and then he's going again what is with this kid, bro? Yep. But it might have worked out, maybe? Hey, man. <laughs> Look at that boy. <laughs> Look at that boy, bro. You did it. Oh, it's out. He was able to, was he able to detect that that was out? That was definitely out. Bro, Nishinoya is god tier. That is to be able to tell. Come on, guys. See, this always happens. We get one, they get one. We get one, they get one. Tsukushima does it. Asahi does it. Tanaka does it. And it's Watari on the other side. Kunimi, Kandaichi, Iwazumi. Like, come on. What the fuck are we going to do? Big ass words coming from the boy right there. That's facts. Don't worry about what's right in front of you. My guy. Really been at this, man, since they were youngins. It's shown the growth of that specific serve since he was a kid. He's had that same techniques. Oh, it's such a beautiful serve. I love that animation, man. I love that falling the ball as it goes. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. You're shocked at how much more he's doing, huh? Kage, yeah, Kage, Kage is wondering what type of leader it takes to get this out of these kind of players, you know? Way to play at his strengths. That's, oh my god. That is so smart from Waikawa noticing that way back in the day. He's literally the only, no matter the player, Oikawa's playing to your strengths. He's in fucking sane. And then he does the feint. Oh no, they took the first lead. This is definitely eye-opening for uh, Kageyama. It shows you what a setter can do for a team. This shows you what you can do. Come on, bro. We're here for you, Kageyama. Oh, 
Removing the Lonely King. Removing the Lonely King, guys. That, oh, that was such a shot right there. Take, oh, I got literal chills. Take off the fucking bullshit and go with the squad. Don't make me fucking cry off a literal fucking one shot. Come on, come on, fucking Haikyuu. What are you doing? If I ever play volleyball in real life and I don't hear music like this playing, I'm not playing. It's crazy. My man started this match as a Charmander. We're about to leave this match as a fucking Charizard. No joke. The the slow attack, the front attack. Good save. Terrifying. Ter calm is a good word to use. Calm focus. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do we do? Tense ball. But in the battle, he's trying extra hard. Yep. Everybody in this match is trying extra hard, bro. I love it. They're literally all at 120%. With this timing, in this position. Oh my god. That animation, bro. Look at that face. There's no way, right? But it's not going to be today. Wow. Wow. I mean, that was heart wrenching, but as an audience member, as a viewer, I must say that was an amazing game. Like, it was amazing. After all that, to be literally this short. Like, he's still in awe. He can't even process that that just happened. So... When you're cornered, rely on what you know the best. Yeah, it only makes sense when you think about it, but I tell you, man, Oikawa is easily the most analytical observant player I've ever seen in any sport, ever. He only had one choice. You're not wrong. This man, Oikawa, is fucking... Oh, my God. Aw. You gotta love it. Everyone who's all just riding Oikawa's dick and everyone's clapping for them, bro. They all realize, like I did, that was an amazing game, you know? It was a great match. I'm fucking crying over here because I'm heartbroken for my team, man. Oh, look at Sugawara, man. I can't even see his face. God damn it, bro. That was such a good game. Wait till season three or four. My man Kageyama is going to be the best fucking player in the entire prefecture. And fucking the nation, bro. This man is fucking... <sighs> I've never heard him even apologetic, but talk like that tone, you know? He's never been like that. Meeting yeah, the match itself doesn't. It's how you react to that match. I like that, Takara. That's fucking... The fire response. They always say, you may fall on your ass, but you don't need to stay there. Stand up, boys. Oh, it's the end. No! Oh, I love the show, man. Alright, so they won the next game against Senseki. I, I won't lie, even though we're out of the tournament, we should be going home. I want to watch... Shiro Torizawa versus Alba Josai so bad. I want to watch that game so bad. Ah, <sighs> Sendai City Gymnasium. You gotta have a team meal after a, a tournament like this. Come on. Oh, that looks amazing. Even though the vibe and the mood is down. This used to be the thing. The team would come here. And they, sh they hooked it up at the restaurant. Shouts out to the lady, man. Itadakimasu. 
and I've never seen Hinata like this, but same with Kageyama, you know? It's gonna take something, but they're gonna get over it. Look at Tsukushima, man. Oh, I love these guys with every fiber in my heart. Oh, oh. God damn it, bro. Can, can I just have one episode where I'm not crying at the end of it? Just one, please. A singular episode where I'm not fucking in tears at the end would be amazing. Thank you, Toho. But incredible episode, like always. Incredibly heartbreaking. But, you know, realistic, I, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised with this show. I, like I said last episode, either way, it's kind of like my hero. I wouldn't be surprised if we won it, if we lost it. Either way, it gives us great character development. We had so much character development for Kageyama over that singular match that it fucking blows me away. I gotta say. Oh, I'm just so emotionally a wreck right now. I don't even know what to think. I'm just going to be eating chocolate covered popcorn, crying in a corner all day while i'm sad these guys lost i gotta tell you though i cannot get over the fact that fucking oikawa is that good he is just so good in my mind we're just seeing it over and over and over again with how well they're able to not only play but adapt to us and then adapt to our adaptations to them like i and then to see Kunimi be like their, not really their trump card, but to see like a little a little ace in the sleeve for when they get all fucking tired, because he's right, you know, conserving energy and doing this, that, and the other is somewhat smart, you know, but he's like, when it comes down to it, we actually need you. I'm gonna make sure you work twice as hard. And that's fucking, he's never seen Kunimi laugh. You know, he sees Kandaichi being all like motivated and shit, but they also see Kageyama motivated equally. And it's just like, that's what finding a good team does, finding these good players to help push each other. And like, I only felt sad for them at the end because I know exactly how they feel. Not to that extent, obviously. I've never, I've never been the one to get blocked in a preliminary tournament to be, you know. But I know what it feels like to lose, and I know what it feels like to blame yourself for a loss. And so to have teammates that I genuinely, 100% with my whole heart, feel like they don't. I mean, obviously they care about it, but they don't care about their teammates and their players more. They just want to make sure they're all like it's. Like, we're, you're never gonna find a team like this ever like these guys are literal an anime team like that's like it's just incredible i love these players ukai best coach takeda best fucking tech coach kyoko best manager whatever girl i don't fucking know daichi best receiver libero fucking nishinoya is the best libero asa is the best ace best man bun tanaka is the best fucking whatever he is Best decoy is high key. Fucking, I almost said high key. That's how fucking out of it I am, guys. I gotta end the episode right here. I gotta go watch this next one, and I gotta get fucking. I, I just gotta live my life. I don't know. This, this show is just amazing. It really is. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Shout out to Plebma, latest sponsor. Appreciate you all oh, so much, my friend. Oh, so much. I'll see you guys in this next episode. Uh, peace out, y'all.